Hi there, I'm August Cedar Strand from Edelbrock. From time to time, we receive questions regarding camshaft break-in for hydraulic flat tappet applications. Today, we're going to take a look at the proper procedure from installation to break-in. Proper camshaft break-in is crucial to the life and performance of your hydraulic flat tappet cam. First, it's important to get the proper, compatible cam to fit your performance needs. Performance needs might include towing, street or normal daily use, high performance street, and or race ready competition performance. Your new camshaft should be compatible with your valve train, meaning you should have the proper valve spring pressure for the type of camshaft you are using, valves, rocker arms, and push rods. When installing a new hydraulic flat tap and camshaft, Always use new lifters. Never reinstall used or non-matched lifters with your hydraulic flat tappet cam. Let's take a closer look at the camshaft and lifter. Lifters are machined to have a slight concave surface on the heel or base of the lifter, allowing the lifter to rotate on the cam lobe during operation. When installing a new cam and lifters, always use proper camshaft break-in lube. Break-in lube is included with Edelbrock camshaft kits and is also sold separately. Let's get started. Once you have your new camshaft, you'll need to wipe it off with mineral spirits or solvent to remove any dirt, debris, or rust preventative oils. Clean the lifter bores to remove any previous oil, residue, or dirt. Apply the assembly lube on the camshaft lobes, bearing surfaces, fuel pump eccentric, and distributor gear. Be extra careful with the lobe edges, as they can be sharp. Install the camshaft carefully so as to not damage or ding the camshaft bearings in the engine block. Once you have the cam fully seated to the back of the block, install the camshaft sprocket then torque to spec. Camshaft retention systems vary by engine. Refer to manufacturer specifications for proper timing gear installation, torque specification sequence, and gasket installation instructions. Next, apply assembly lube to the sides and bottom of the lifter body and install in the lifter hole. Repeat this for all 16 lifters. Make sure that the lifter moves freely within the lifter bore. At this point, reassemble the rest of the valve train according to the specifications for your particular engine application. Set your lifter preload to the correct specifications to ensure an immediate engine startup. Good timing helps minimize unnecessary engine cranking. Now drain the existing engine oil and replace it with a high zinc and phosphorus content oil such as Edelbrock break-in oil. And be sure to change that oil filter. It's a good idea at this time to prime the oil system before engine startup. Use an electric drill and an oil pump priming tool available at most automotive parts stores. Next, apply assembly lube to the distributor drive gear. Insert the distributor, making sure it is on top dead center on the number one cylinder for quick startup. If you are breaking in a cam in the vehicle or on a dyno, be sure to have a tachometer handy to display engine RPM for the break-in period. An oil pressure gauge is also recommended. Start the engine and run it up to 2500 RPM immediately. Keep it at this RPM for around 10 minutes. Please note, timing should be no lower than 25 degrees but not higher than 40 degrees during the break-in procedure. Be sure to listen for anything that may sound irregular and look for any leaks that may occur on the engine. If you find anything, shut it off immediately and fix the problem. Restart the engine and finish the break-in procedure for the remainder of the break-in period. Increase the RPM to 2800 for the next 10 minutes then back it off to 2,000 RPM for the final 10 minutes. Slowly bring the RPM down to idle to avoid dieseling at shutoff. After completing the break-in procedure, let the engine cool. Change out the break-in oil and replace it with an enhanced zinc engine oil and a new oil filter. Or, use a conventional engine oil combined with some Edelbrock high zinc additive. Your camshaft is now broken in and can be used for regular use. For more information about Edelbrock camshafts, or if you have further installation questions, 
Call our tech department at 1-800-416-8628 or go to our website at edelbrock.com.